Hey, it's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kuat Transfer Bike Rack on the back of our 2022 Toyota RAV4. This is the two bike platform version, but we also have one through four available, so you can pick whatever suits your needs. This bike rack is capable of supporting up to 40 pounds per bike. And it's going to hold on to our bike primarily by the wheel here with this wheel hook and one extra strap at the back. Which is nice because it doesn't make any frame contact, so if you wanted to transport some carbon frame bikes, you wouldn't have to worry about damaging the frame. And alternative and kid style bikes should work as well without the need to pick up a bike adapter bar. Using this pedal here, it does have the ability to tilt the bike rack away with it loaded. And one of the nice features about the transfer as well is how close you can actually get to that pedal by opening up the first hook. You can op or you can lever it down with your foot, holding onto the rack. And we actually did find that in our case, if we just leave the bike alone and try to open up the hatch, it will make contact with our handlebars. We also found that if we push on it, we could open it up wide enough. I'm not going to do that just for the sake of potential damages. In our case, from the middle to the hatch, it's about 15 inches, and our handlebars are about 13 inches. So those are some measurements to keep in mind for your vehicle to see if your bike will fit. Getting our bike rack back up is pretty simple. We just put this hook back, hold on to the frame while you do it, not the bike and it'll click back in place and now we can work on getting a bike removed starting with the back strap here as our secondary point of contact we can just press that release and get the strap out now holding onto the frame of our bike we can press this button and if you tighten it down the button might be a little harder to press lift the hooks up and they go all the way down which is nice because we get plenty of clearance to lift our bike up and away while I fold this hook back down, that's a good time to point out some details about the cradles. So as you can see, there are a couple different ruts here for different size tires. These cradles will support tires of up to three inches. And these back cradles do pivot, which allows you to support a wheelbase of up to 50 inches. Now, if you do live with the bike rack in this position, it does stick out quite a bit. So to give you an idea of how far that would be from the bumper to the furthest point back, in our case, probably the end of these cradles, comes in at almost exactly three feet of added distance. So that's something to consider. As far as ground clearance goes, probably the furthest point down will be around here, and that will be coming in at 16 and a half inches. So there is actually quite a bit of a rise in the shank. That's nice because the RAV4 sits a little bit lower, and we should get plenty of clearance going over hills, curbs, or anything like that. If you don't want to leave the bike rack in this position where it sticks out quite so far, you can actually do the same thing we did before using this pedal and tilt the bike rack up towards the car. That'll cut down on quite a bit of space. And now from the bumper to the furthest point back is actually going to be 14 inches. So you definitely save a ton of space that way. With it in this position, there is plenty of visibility. Things like your license plate because of that U shape. Your license plate is pretty much fully visible and your backup camera here should have tons of visibility as well. Additionally, your taillights are not covered and it doesn't come anywhere near your rear window. Here's a quick example of what you'll be able to see out of your backup camera. Like I talked about, that real open space allows you to see better out of your back than you would with most platform style racks that fold up like this. This rack is an inch and a quarter shank with the sleeve that makes it fit into our two inch receiver tube held in place by this pin and clip. If you come to the front here, you'll see that this anti-rattle bolt with the security Allen key, we can tighten that down to take some of the shake and play out of the rack. Overall, the Kuat transfer is definitely a solid option if you want to get two bikes up to 40 pounds where you need them to go. I really do like that accessibility option where you can open the hooks up and get to the lever that lets you tilt and fold easily. And the fact that it tilts and folds is nice. I would say that if you were looking for something in this range, you might want to check out the Rocky Mounts monorail. You get 20 more pounds of weight capacity per bike, as well as a five inch tire with capacity straight from the factory. But that being said, I do think that the Kuat transfer is a really nice option and a really good fit on the 2022 Toyota RAV4.